Welcome to Retro Gaming Online. I'm Brad. I'm Steve. And today we come to you with our December Video Games Monthly Unboxings. Um, this month is uh, kind of special because not only do we have our regular um, retro, ga uh, retro game boxes, but Steve actually bought himself an extra power pack. So he's going to have an additional 10 games to open. Um, so really looking forward to see, see what, we got. what we got in there. Um, but before we get started, please make sure you like this video, subscribe, and check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash retrogamingonline. Um, but uh, other than that, uh, I guess to give you a little description of Video Games Monthly, if you're watching, you probably already um, know a little bit about this, but they send you boxes of retro video games in the mail every month. Uh, random games uh, for the systems that you request. You can set up a wish list, which I have been seriously slacking on. Oh, yeah. Um, well, the wish list, I'm fine. The, the collection list, which tries to prevent them from giving you doubles, I've really been slacking on. So um, I've got, I, I have to get, go get in there and uh, update that because it's, it's, I'm starting to get to the point where I'm get, I, I could potentially get some doubles. But, um, well, but we're going to let Steve open up his normal box first and uh, see what we got. This is the four-game box. All right, we got a reminder, Brad. Yeah, hold I'll, I'll hold on to this one because I, I need to know that. And the first game's NES game, Thunder and Lightning. What? I've never even heard wow. of that game. Brown <laughs> Star. Whoever's initials are MA. Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, it's a um, it's like the ball. Oh, like down. a breakout. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Oh, I think that's cool. I like I love the breakout games. Let's see here. Let's see how many games we can get stacked on this table without breaking them. Nintendo 64 Body Harvest. Body Harvest. Made by Midway. Yeah. I'm not too familiar with that it, one either. I've heard of it. I just never played it. Another Nintendo game. Trojan. Trojan. I've played that a couple of times, but I'm not a uh, 376 game? That's what it says, yeah. <laughs> in, in 2006. Yeah. Wow. Huh. So. And we got it. Uh, finally, we have a Fatal Labyrinth for Sega Genesis. I haven't had a Sega game in a while. Cool. No, I haven't seen you get one of those in a while. Hey, I, um. Oh, cool. oh, what do you, what do they got? We got Car Window sticker. Oh, nice. Sweet. I'm going to have to put that, uh. I think it's like, you know, the quality is pretty cool. Oh, yeah, that is nice. I'll put that on my... You have to do that during a giveaway. Yeah, I'll they put... have fresh, nice uh, games in a giveaway. You put this on the back of your car, you take a picture, and submit it, and you can win those games. There we go. All right, let's get into my box. I have uh, Super Nintendo and Nintendo um, on here. My my brother and I usually, uh, we split the box, but he's unavailable for filming today. He's real busy. He's... Having a kid and all this stuff, so <laughs> taking up all his time. Never heard such thing. Here's our standard reminder card. And then we'll start off with a Nintendo uh, what is that? King's Knights, made by Square. Mm -hmm. Cool, SquareSoft. That's interesting. I've never heard of that one either. I have to check that out. But SquareSoft made some very oh, game, fantasy. great games like Seven. Final Fantasy. So. Uh, that's a great game. We'll say. Got another NES game here. Bionic Commando. That's a game that I used to rent as a kid. Um, and I remember really enjoying it. Um, but I never got to play too much of it because... Did I you always let's play with that? I, I might have did a little bit of streaming with it. Yeah, okay. Um, I just remember... I think I remember you playing it. But it's, it's a lot harder than I remember. All these games are a lot yeah, harder than I, I remember. I don't know. It, just, it, it really was a lot harder than I remember last time I played it. Now we have a Super Nintendo game. Super Star Wars. That's funny. I mentioned I don't update my yeah, game. I and I have that one. It's a good you game. Have, I have two different labels for those. Really? Yeah, the one label is like, uh, I think it's like Game of the... The best seller. The best seller, and then the other one's the original label. So you have to like figure out which one you... I actually have one of each. Oh, look at that. There you go. Perfect. There's one of each. So I got the best seller this time, and 
previously I've gotten the regular version. So there we go. So not a collector, that's, that's a cool thing. Not a complete, complete loss. And then the final game in my box is another NES game. Dr. Chaos. Dr. Chaos. Made by uh, FCI. Hmm. Nice game I get to check out. I, I love that, you know, there's so many games on the NES. And you think you know a lot about them. And then you come across, what, two, three, two, three, you know, three or four games in one set of boxes that we really don't, don't know, know anything about. about, which is great. And then here's my uh, my decal that I will be putting on my car. My wife will not be happy, but what are you going to do? That's your car. That's right. And now we'll get into Steve's All right. power pack. The power pack time. All right, that see. thing is packed. It is serious. Like that man. box barely closes. I even got a one-off. Yeah. So that's a, a power power pack. All right, cool. Let's get started. Oh, King of Monsters 2 for Sega. Nice. King Sweet. of the Monsters. King of the Monsters 2. 2. I don't be able to see that, but that's okay. Eh, hang on. Nice. Oh, cool. Volume 3 of the Namco Museum. Dig Sweet. Dug. I remember playing Dig Dug on my... Uh, my cousin that was like one of my favorite games. Yeah, the, my, that was a fun game. My cousin had this Hewlett uh, Packard computer back in the day. And it had Dig Dug and Road uh, Load Runner, oh, Load Runner. and um, there was another one where you flew a plane, and you had to like bomb stuff as you flew by. Oh, I can't remember what it was called. Like Choplifter. Mm, that sounds. That right. was a helicopter, and you had to fly around. That might be what I'm. People. That might be what. Yes, that's what I'm picking up. That's yeah, exactly. Like chocolate. the little bottom opened up, like you like you put down a thing and like a I, little rope. I think so. I can't uh, I could be. I could be making that up. No, I, I remember that game. We got here. Section, Section Z. Section we were just talking about like games that you just yeah. never played. I mean, of the of the eight hundred or so licensed games, there's got to be a bunch of them in there. And I'm not late. We're not. Look at Twisted Metal. 3. Twisted Metal Three. We played <laughs> crap out that, of those kids. That's awesome. That that makes my night right there. Let's see here. Xenophobe. Ooh. It's like aliens. Yeah, that's a nice that's a good one. Arcade edition. Split screen action. Two player interactive. Ooh. Whoa. -ho. Fancy. That's a great that's 10 pack. pack. Yeah, dude. Those are all good. legit. You know, Shooter racers. Yeah. I never did publish the video of us doing our oh, God, that Shooter was... Racer uh, tournament. I should probably, I should probably we, do that. Like, some of us never played it before. That yeah. game took a little bit of getting used to. I rented that with a buddy of mine, and we played it a lot. We're still going here. Now you got one for your and your wife's car. Yeah. <laughs> really. Yoshi's <laughs> Cookie. Nice. <laughs> I love Tetris-type games. They're fun. Yeah, I I love Dr. Dr. Mario. Like, that was my favorite Dr. one out of all of them. So Sega had um, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Mm -hmm. That is my all-time favorite. My mom had that. That's where I played it at, and I would, I could spend hours playing that game. It's so much fun. I don't think I've ever played that. The Page Master. Page Master. Oh, sweet. It's a Macaulay Culkin movie. Yeah, I feel like I've played that. I just can't remember off top. I can't remember anything about it. But there's a bunch of games in here that I want to play. Tony Hawk Pro Skater. We played. We had I the played, PlayStation. Yes, and I like. I love the soundtrack. Yeah, it was just. I, I love that game. Yeah, we put hours upon hours. I feel like the the, the second one, the third one, and, and the one they they weren't as good as the first. One. Yeah, it got too crazy. That and that game and Cool Borders. Did you ever play Cool Borders for the? It's basically think of Tony Hawk Pro Skater on snowboards. I think I played it, but I wasn't a fan. It was amazing. It was all downhill. Yeah, but they had they had the half pipe, I think. Oh, really? And, and they did you could do tricks and stuff. Oh, like okay. you would either do speed or tricks, I think. Either that was Cool Borders One or Cool Borders Two, but they were a whole lot of fun. Ooh. Echo the Dolphin. <laughs> Surprisingly, I do not have this game. That's the Really? Yeah, I don't have it. You have way more Genesis I, games than I do. I figured you'd have that one already. No, I do not have I just that was one of the games. I've read it a few times. I remember writing it. That my my dad used to go over to a friend's house to play Dungeons and Dragons. 
and we would go upstairs and play with the kids video games and they had a genesis so we would i, I remember sonic the hedgehog and um echo the dolphin being the two games that i played all the time it made they, you know they made me want to play want to get a genesis never did never owned a sega oh, system. See, i had the sega before i had the super nintendo yeah i never owned a sega system all right Exodus? Xevious? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, close enough. Close enough. Cool, another game. I mean, yeah, there's probably games. about eight, eight games out of both all these boxes that I want to just turn on and see what they're about. Awesome. So, yeah, so there we go. There's uh, 20, almost 20 games for from Retro, uh, from Video Games Monthly. Uh, again, like I said, if you like what you see, check the link in the description. That will send you straight to uh, Video Games Monthly. You can sign up. You can also, like I said, check us out on Facebook. Check Video Games Monthly out on Facebook as well. And uh, hope you enjoyed our unboxing. Yep. Have a nice holiday. See you next year. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Thank you.